of all of us, I'd like to acknowledge country, acknowledge our elders past and present, uh, uh, acknowledge their continuum, acknowledge the Bunurong and the Wurrung people of the Kulin Nation, acknowledge that uh, they have never ceded sovereignty um, and acknowledge their continuing connection to country. And this couldn't have happened with a whole host, without a whole host of people being involved. The co-design process with members of community has been really important to us. And I'd like to acknowledge a, a, a number of people that the, the the talent involved in helping us bring that together, um, you know, couldn't have couldn't have got us to this this point we're at with, without their efforts. So particularly Kinaway, the team there, the the efforts they've gone to to bring um, Indigenous Aboriginal founded businesses to the program has been extraordinary. And uh, Jeremy Legal and Bevan and the team. And, and a number of others there that have been really critical to bringing that, that thoughtful uh, consideration of what does need to be in a program that will help uh, Aboriginal businesses scale internationally. This partnership between RMIT and DJPR is supporting the growth of individual businesses through the design and delivery of a innovation-led Aboriginal enterprises, scale-up programs and suite of initiatives. What does um, global trade routes mean? What does it mean in an a, in a Indigenous to Indigenous um, setting? To reclaim, revive and represent a culture. My vision is uh, that they become over-representative, um, that they thrive, nurture and they are role models for our community. Globally, Victorian Aboriginal businesses are uh, commercially successful around the world. Whenever we can support entrepreneurs from traditionally underprivileged communities, um, it's that much more meaningful to make sure that our economies are as inclusive as possible. To allow Indigenous and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders the opportunity to really spread their wings and fly like eagles and partner up with existing businesses but also for existing businesses, law firms, and universities to open their arms to new innovation of Indigenous and First Nations people.